Hey, what's going on? It's Mitch, and last night I did a cold brew. Um, I started a cold brew coffee process, and it's like a it's like a 24-hour process. So I just wanted to show you that I put it in the cabinet, and then I can pull it out, take it out, pour it in a cup, and then that's one way to do a cold brew coffee. It's a method that I use. I use a blender to blend up the coffee beans. These are the coffee beans that I used. Um, I put them in a the blender and I actually ground them up with that. And um, and I put them in here. And um, what I did is I took the, I took what I did is I took a, a bamboo um, a utensil tool. I'm not sure where it's at right now. I've, I've, Oh, actually, wait. I, actually, I know where it's at. Hold, hold on a second. Bear back. All right. Uh, I'm back. Um, okay, alright, so yeah, what I did is I, I, I ground up, like I said, I ground up the coffee beans in the blender, I put them in here, and then I used this bamboo utensil tool, and what I did is I just kept doing this, because there's a fine, there's a fine, um, there's a fine mesh strainer in here, and I can, I use this, like, for brewing teas or coffees. Um, next month, I'm probably, like, I, I'm not sure if I'm going to do it or not, but I'm kind of thinking of um, doing an herbal tea, uh, an herbal uh, loose leaf tea is one of the things I was thinking about. Um, so, I mean, no matter, I mean, I want I do want to keep making these videos and stuff. I mean, and it's like, I mean, that's kind of where a lot of my passion is, is in making these videos and stuff and showing you what I'm up to. And I just want to say shout out to you for watching. Um, so like there's all these coffee grounds in here and, you know, you might be wondering why does this matter? Like, you know, if you make, if you learn the skills, like to make your own drinks, then you don't have to, you get the ingredients, get the ingredients in your pantry, buy the ingredients, and then you can make your own drinks, you know, like, so like the, it's like kind of a good skill, you know, instead of having to keep going to the store and buying more and more stuff and all that, I mean, that's nice and convenient, you know, and it, it did, t you know, like I said, it did take money to buy the ingredients, but the skill to make your own is nice, too, because then you don't have to go through all those plastic cups and all the waste and stuff like that, so, I mean, so here's one way you can do it, you know, I don't want to, uh, I want to continue doing these, I mean, it, it's like one of the few things I actually enjoy doing. Um, so the, here, so the, the coffee beans are in here. I mean, it, and it's honestly, it's because of other people's videos that I watch too, that keep me inspired. So other people that are, that are out there that are doing the interviews and all this stuff. And you know, that's, that is, that's good. People that put information out there, that's excellent. And I encourage that to keep putting out information, what you're up to. Photos, videos, all that stuff. I tune into it. I see what's going on. That that's a good thing. I try to be open information as much as I can, um, and not keep. I don't want to be like, well, I'm just gonna keep all these things secret. Uh, I'd rather be kind of open and honest about stuff. Okay, that's probably a good thing. Tell the truth and stuff. Okay, so this is what I'm doing. So the cold brew method. It took a while to do it. I mean, this is something I did last night. Started it last night. So. So, I mean, there's the uh, there's the cold brew coffee. There might be some sediment in there. I'm not sure. I mean, because there's, a, you know, there's only, like, a strainer can be, like, a strainer can get out so much stuff from it. And it's probably going to be, like, 
because I did a cold a cold brew method, it might be a little less acidic than if I did a hot brew quick method with electricity. Um, so, all right, so you might wonder why does this matter? Here, I'll show you. So like, so I smell that. All right, well that's, it's, it doesn't smell that bad. It's not that bad, I mean. I mean, for sure, I do honestly think that the raw fruits and vegetables are really good, and that that's definitely a good idea, like, to to continue eating raw fruits and vegetables, organic or local grown as much as you can, what's in season and stuff, what's available. Because, uh, like, that sort of does change through the course of time with nature and everything. Um, but as far as today, I was gonna I was gonna pour this in a cup. Okay, so, all right, so I'll do that, and thank you for watching, I appreciate it, I don't really get a lot of views, but I, you know, even if I don't, that's not the point of why I do this, I put the information out there just so that people see what I'm doing, whether it's watched or not, you know, I'll still, I still try to put out the info, you know, what I'm up to, and I, I just want to say thanks for watching. All right, hold on, this, this cup's kind of dirty, so... Let me grab another one. Alright, so, okay, I'm back. Alright, so, okay, so I just cleaned out this glass here. Um, Alright, so it didn't have a in there. And then, like, there it is. It's a cold brew coffee. You know, and I just use the or organic uh, coffee beans um, with that, you know. Um, you know, so, I mean, it's enough for, you know, it's enough for, like, two people, two or three people. Um, so, with the coffee grounds, you know, I can put that in the garden. That's probably a good idea, you know, instead of putting them in the trash, I'll put them in the garden. I'll compost them. That's one way I can be a little more um, environmentally responsible and whatnot, so I'll do that, so I'm just gonna go back there, ah, alright, so I'm just gonna go back into the garden there, and then, alright, hold on a sec, before, before I actually, before I enjoy the coffee and whatnot, I'll give a little bit back to the earth first, might take a little bit more effort. Um, it's kind of hard to get out all the grounds from inside of here um, because um, cause there's some stuff stuck in there. So I'll just use this to get the, the coffee grounds out, get them into the soil. Alright, so, okay, so I got, you know, I got, I got, like, most of it out there in, in the garden, you know, I'm not going to probably get 100% of it, but that's fine. Um, so, I'll just rinse, I'll just rinse, um, I'll rinse this off in the sink. And then I'll just use, uh, the garbage disposal to, um, grind down what's in there and now it's not nothing's ever really gonna be like hundred percent perfect and all that. That's fine. So 
So, all right, I'll grind it down, press the button here. Boom, and that's done. Okay, got that. This is cleaned out. So, like, I got this mesh strainer cleaned out. For the next time that I do a brew, a brew process, you know, I could do another cold brew coffee. I could do a yerba mate. Um, I got, like, as a sweetener for this, I could do, like, the coconut palm sugar. Or I could do honey or do it unsweetened. It's just a matter of like choice. I mean, because the recipes could be like whatever, you know, whatever I make it to be. I mean, um, so I mean, the cold brew coffee, I'm sure that's like one you can enjoy doing where, where you're at. You know, the, I just use this. Use this and this and this here. I just use them together with the bamboo tool and the blend and the blender and the coffee beans or tea or whatever I'm ma I'm making. Um, I do think that for sure the raw fruits and vegetables are are always a good idea, no doubt. Um, I mean what I mean, but the the co I guess coffee. I mean it's not that bad. I mean I don't know. What do you think? To have, to have coffee, I mean, I could, and and this is the water, all right, this is the water I used, all right, so, so that I'm not, I'm not keeping anything secret, okay? All right, so I used the, I used the water distiller with the reverse osmosis water, put it in the water distiller machine, press the button on the side, I put it under the glass thing here, I press the button, and then, it, and then it just flows out. It, and then I turn this to the right. Um, I turn this to the right, and then due to the force of gravity, water flows down. You know, like I stored some in here. This is what I drank when I woke up. I drank the water in here, like, when I woke up. Because um, I'm in, like, a super dry desert right now. So, like, the climate's kind of dry. Um, and I, I'm still doing that medical billing stuff. And I'm like, you know, it's like... I don't really know if that's really where my true passion is. I'm more interested in, like, the recipes and the gardening and all that. And so, I mean, I guess I'll keep keep at it, though, since I made a commitment to, to do that. Um, but whether or not, like I said in my last one, whether or not that's my true passion, I don't know. I'm kind of, I think I'm really more, honestly, I'm probably more into the, like, the raw, the raw foods, the living foods, the gardening the recipes, the videos, you know, that's like what I'm into, you know? I mean, that's really where my true passion's at. And, I mean, I don't, it's probably not a good idea to be doing things in my life that are not in alignment with my true passion, you know? Gotta stay, gotta stay in tune with, like, what I'm, what I, I enjoy doing. I enjoy doing these videos. I enjoy the fact that you watched. That means something to me, that you took the time to watch it. Um... So thanks, and um, that's honestly what I did. I don't want to, you know, I was watching a video about trade secrets per, and all that. There's no, all right, so I'm trying to do a little more honest videos. That's what I did. I made that. That's the water I used. I composted the, the coffee beans, and, uh, you know, so I, that's what I did, you know. Um... Then I poured the water in here, and then that's, um, I mean, there's some other cool stuff I could probably be doing, like I was, I saw another video about sprouting seeds in a glass jar, that's another good idea, I think, that's like, hmm, am I gonna be like, am, do I wanna like take this down the road where I won't just wanna like accumulate like lots of money and then just get the best stuff and then not worry about not worry much about the future things or the gardening and all that kind of some tough choices the way it's going and the way things are going down in the world um but that's what i did as for now um am i able to grow my own coffee beans that probably not i mean that takes like that takes that takes like a long time. It seems like it's a little bit easier to use to use money to get some of the high quality things. It seems like, and then use that use that. It's that's kind of what it seems like. 
it seems like that's a lot easier. I mean, considering the amount of time it takes for that to grow, I mean, it seems a little bit easier to use the money route, kind of. I don't know. I mean, but I don't know uh, which path I'm going to go down with all this. I think probably, probably do both, like probably do some of the gardening stuff and some of the money stuff as much as I can, and, you know and balance out all that and whatnot. Um, I guess I'll try, here I'll show you. Um, that's what, here I'll show you what I got in the pantry right now, okay? All right, so that's all, that's what, that's all I got. All right, so like, I mean, I could sweeten it. This, I, uh, oops, I, all right, I ordered this earlier. Still got the coconut wraps, you know, this the turmeric. There's the yerba mate, there's the thing of coconut oil, there's the thing of coffee, there's coffee filters. There's some evaporated coconut water, there's black tea bags, there's honey right here. You know, there's some cayenne pepper, and there's, there's the thing of olive oil right here. Uh, some cacao powder. Got some tahini here, you know, Himalayan salt. Um, got some uh, chl chlorella tablets right here. Um, some of the vitamin oil green, you know, for the probiotics. The, the banana bars, that's what I got in here. Um, these are pretty good, no doubt. Um, I guess I'll, I'll add in a little bit of, like, stuff like, stuff like this, like, it doesn't, I mean, like, it takes so long for things to grow, and it's like, Seems easier to just accumulate a, a lot of money and then buy the best stuff and then use that. That seems like a really easy route to go down. But is that really like in the long run the sustainable route? Probably not. Probably better to grow my own stuff, to be honest. But seriously, the amount of time it takes. Money can save hella time, too. Time is time is time is limiting, for sure. All right, so here's some uh, here's some coconut palm sugar. This is how much I got left in here in this bag. I got another bag in there, also. Um, all right, so that's what that's what I got. I got that, and I got another bag. So I gotta think kind of a little strategically how I'm gonna make this last, and how I'm gonna make it last. So, okay, so I'm not going to use all of it. I'm going to use some of it, and then I'll stir it in. But before, oh, whoops. Oh, i got to be careful. In fact, the carrot, don't want to lose, lose it, you know. Okay, so I'll leave it there. All right, so then, uh, all right, so, okay, so I have this utensil tool, and then um, I'll stir it in here. All right, so I'll stir, I'll stir it in. This will sweeten it up with this coconut palm sugar. I mean, to be like, yeah, I can grow all my own stuff, total self-sufficiency. I mean, come on. We need we need other people. We need we need the grid and all that. We, it, I mean, seriously. We're not, I mean, I don't think we're going to go back to the Stone Age, are we? All right. Uh, so that's what I got. Ooh, I got that right there. Maybe it kind of is going that way. I don't know. Back to the Stone Age type days, I guess. All right, well, I'll conserve that, make it last by so using it all at once. Keep it in here, okay? Coconut palm sugar. Doesn't really matter the brand anymore. Maybe it does, I don't know. I mean, so I stir in the coconut palm sugar. So I use that. I've also got, um, I've also got um, some monk fruit sweetener in the room over there. And that's like a zero, that's a low glycemic sweetener. The coconut palm sugar's got a, some calories in it and some minerals. Um, but for sure, no doubt, like the best stuff is probably, it's probably the raw fruits and vegetables, to be honest. And the, 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 the microgreens thing, that's, that's definitely, a, that's definitely a good idea, I think, also. Um, maybe I should look into that one, um, the sprouting, sprouting seeds. Maybe it might come down to something like that. Uh, so, I mean, this lasts for now. 
you know. But I mean, you know, I can only prepare for so long. You know, I can plan ahead for so long. You know, there's only so much I can do. Um, but that's what I did now, and you know, I appreciate that you watched it. It was the coconut palm sugar, the the coffee. Used used um used this. This is what I used along with this. You saw that I cleaned it out. Um, to make this coffee. And it really wasn't even about the coffee. Uh, it was just about to, to make the video and put some information out there. So thanks. Till next time. Thank you. Appreciate your time.